Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was submitted by a viewer. Thanks to Rod Zero Her for this one. Amy has grief and ephemerate. She wants to evoke the grief and play the ephemerate on it. What's the best way for her to get the most value? So first of all, I have to admit, I am kind of biased towards liking this question. I remember fondly the original evoke cards from Lorwyn, and because they were in standard at the same time as momentary blink, this sort of play happened a lot. So, when you evoke grief, there's going to be two triggered abilities that go on the stack. There's going to be the sacrifice me one from evoke, and there's going to be the discarding one that it has normally. Now, Amy controls both of these triggered abilities, so she gets to choose the order that they're put on the stack. The best choice for these is probably going to be to have the evoke one go on the stack first, and the discard one go on top of that. That way, the discarding happens first. Amy will get to look at her opponent's hand and see if there might be any instant speed removal spells in there. She kind of doesn't want to play the ephemerate if there is an instant speed removal spell that the opponent could play, because that would blow her out and get rid of her grief and also the ephemerate. So, she would be able to see if there's anything, and if there's only one, then she could have her opponent discard it. Afterwards, the evoke triggered ability is going to still be on the stack. Amy can respond to this by playing Ephemerate, targeting Grief. This is where the real magic is going to happen. The Ephemerate exiles Grief and returns it to the battlefield. That means that when it comes back, it's going to get another triggered ability from entering the battlefield. This time, it's entering the battlefield, but its evoke cost was not paid, and that means that its evoke ability will not trigger to make you sacrifice it. The original evoke ability is still going to be on the stack, but because that ability came from the original grief, the ability is not going to make you sacrifice grief when it resolves. This is because when the grief leaves the battlefield and returns, it returns as a new object with no connection to its previous self. So although the card is the exact same physical card, and it probably didn't actually move at all during the resolution of Ephemerate in the real world, as far as the game is concerned, it's a completely different card with no recollection of anything that might have happened previously, and certainly did not have its evoke cost paid, so there's no reason why anyone would want to sacrifice it. So, Amy will effectively get two discard triggers out of this grief, and a really cheap bargain when it comes to having to pay the mana cost, since it'll stick around forever, and she only had to pay the discounted evoke cost in order to get this to happen. Pretty nice trick, right? And that's all I have for you today. How did you do? Join me again tomorrow for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.